In this course, we will be talking about Angular 2 routing. Now, routing is something that we have to do in every single one of our applications. And in Angular 2, the Angular 2 router is going to give us a lot of power to make all of those different routing scenarios that we need for our applications. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a brand new application that features a lot of the new Angular 2 routing features. But before we can do that, let's talk a little bit about what exactly those features are. So the router comes with many different features. We can route to different pages, like you would expect a router to do. You can route using route parameters. And we'll see a bunch of this in our sample app that we're going to build. We'll see child routes. Lazy loading, which is a really cool feature. Lazy loading just means that our application can load modularly so that when we go from one route to another, we actually don't load the resources from that route until we actually visit that page. This is great because if we start to have large applications, we don't want to load everything at once. We want to load things incrementally as our users visit the appropriate pages. The last thing the router can do for us is we can handle things like authentication before and after we get to a certain route. These are called guards in Angular 2, and you can think of these as middleware if you're coming from the Laravel or the Node world. And we'll basically be using guards for authentication. Uh, we don't want people to go to a certain route if they can't see or have access to that certain route. And we also want to make sure that people aren't allowed to leave a certain route if what they're doing isn't really done yet. In our case, we'll have an ability to edit a user, and if they didn't actually save the user form, then we don't want them to lose any of their data, so we'll ask them if they'd like to leave. We're going to start with the Angular 2 starter kit that we built in the Getting Started with Angular 2 course. And what this does is it gives us the good foundation for an Angular 2 application. And what we really need to know about this is that we're going to transpile ES6 using TypeScript. And we're going to load ES6 imports with System.js. Now, if you want to know more about that, go check out the Angular 2 starter course. In our case, we want to skip right ahead and go past all of that starter boilerplate and get to building an application for routing. So go to the top of this, we'll fork this, and let's do this to my personal account. And this is a good way to start applications is we are going to fork a starter kit, and we'll go into settings, we'll change the name of this repo, we'll call it ng2 routing. All right, so now we can take this SSH URL, we'll go back over to our command line, git clone, and we'll paste that in. And this will bring down our brand new project. We'll CD into that brand new project. And now that we have our starter kit, we have everything we need to start our Angular 2 application. The first thing we need to do is install our NPM dependencies. And you can find all those defined under package.json. Okay, everything installed there nicely. We'll do subl to bring it into Sublime Text. We have our index.html to start us off. We have Bootstrap loaded here. We're loading all of our Angular dependencies and using System.js to load our Angular app. And then after we're done with all that, in the app folder is where we will mainly be working. And this is where all of our Angular 2 application actually lives. Let's start this app. We'll go over to the command line, run npm start. That brings up our brand new Angular 2 app. It loads up browser sync so that our app actually refreshes whenever we make some changes. And this will be the foundation of what we're going to build for this course. Now notice in our package.json, we already brought in the Angular router. So just make sure that if you want to use the router, you have to bring in that specific dependency and Angular 2 has done this because we want to stay very modular. We kept forms, HTTP, router, and all these different packages in their own dependency. All right, that's some good setup here. We will start moving forward and route a real application in the next lesson.